somewhere out there between genius and insanity has a fine line. Just between that line. Like, like, so I know one of my good guys who was deep and unnoticed there, but... and unseen, unheard. Maybe I'll start a gang or an army. And every day just seems so much harder to put two and two together. There's gotta be some kind of answer, some kind of way. If God can hear me, he would save me, right? Yeah, maybe I just need to pray. Cast all my demons out. Even down on one knee, I pray. Dear God, please see you hear me. Would you just take this pain away? Maybe some kind of counseling, psychiatric help, higher power, something. Please just hear me. When will it all end? And who knows all the answers? Will God strike down his wrath amongst humanity or feel sorrow and shame for what we have done? Will he reveal streets of gold and cash in women? Or can I just make all my 90 virgins one since I can't afford them all? Maybe your heaven just isn't the same as Mars. And with all the money on the world, why would Elon Musk want to go to Mars? At this rapid growth of population, maybe we'll just run out of room. Or is he just simply hiding from God? Maybe God's ashamed of all the nations and all the leaders. Maybe this whole reality is just one big simulation. And beneath all this flesh, there is no skin color or language. Hey man, if God divided us by race, wouldn't that be racist? And how does he divide his 144,000? And what is the 12 gates and seals? And how would I possibly be classified for it? Is there some kind of universal language or stenograph? Maybe like a harp weapon? Maybe I'll just be some kind of instrument of his symphony. Or maybe we're living in a revelations as we know it. And this cruel world will separate the boys from the girls. Maybe God's just a badass motherfucker and he doesn't take shit from no one. And that all nations will come to one under God. Hell, well, if two or more gather, God will be there. Why don't we just gather them all for him? And just give God the sh best show we could possibly show him. With all righteousness and love that we can find. And just in case I'm not elite or my race isn't superior, I strive every day with blood, sweat, and tears to sacrifice. I pay all my taxes and even tithe to God. I turn my cheek and I kill my enemies with kindness, yet it buries me in hatred for the ruthless and heartless. Nor do I say who deserves karma or if she's real. I hope to all my enemies the best in hopes to see that by me helping them, I only fuck myself. But no matter how hard I try, it's like they always call me the enemy in the end, or the bad guy. Will we ever see eye to eye or agree to disagree? Is there a fair exchange in robbery? Or will we just hold a grudge against our boss because he works less and knows more? It might not always be because he's rich or because he's papa. And rock stars might not just be born, but created. In fact, they desire and manifest on another level you wouldn't understand. Like every thought just became an action. And every action became a word. Like, they don't talk about it, they just be about it. And for some reason, the whole universe just evolves around that. And their music theory is just some kind of Da Vinci code for an algorithm with their world or something and instead of just believing reality we just want to say oh no he must have sold his soul but how come none of your other friends are doing it and if it's so easy how come everybody else doesn't sign up and where do i sell my soul so i began to pour it out on the table and little did i know i would never get this back and luckily i found the right dealer could it have been a bad drug deal? I don't know, the perception's yours. Somewhere deep embedded in each one of our DNAs, right next to your smart device, cracks the code, the answer, the balance of life. 50% good, 50% evil. 
The decision is yours. Don't confuse it for schizophrenia. Every time you hear that voice calling you to make an executive decision. So choose wisely because your brain is the sharpest device known on earth. And one word, feeling, emotion can alter its molecular structure and decide where you are 10 years from now. Ultimately, it's up to you and your next decision. So don't fear God like he's gonna strike you down from heaven or something. Fear God that he will chew you up and spit you out if you're not man enough to handle what you bit off. So before you plot your next big master scheme, and you haven't ran it by God first, just know that he will run it by you. We don't always get a second chance, but through trial and error, we get to correct what we already messed up. So go ahead, blame the world, chant your evil, see what it brings you. For your voice is a rock star for God. Or for the devil, you choose. For all the devices in hand at the day and age we live in, the choices are all ours, and the perception's yours. Take it as you will. This information age we live in today will separate us. Take a look at your phone and tell me, is this the mark of the beast, or is this the all-knowing, everlasting, eternal life? We can't change the world, but we can change our future with each thought.